Okay, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to thank the organizers for inviting me to this nice conference. And uh, now I want to attract your attention to the work of our group, uh, which will uh, <coughs> deal with one of the mentioned uh, technologies for the carbon dioxide removal, it's membrane technology, membrane separation. So, um, I, I'm from the University of Chemistry and Technology Prague, so uh, if you are not familiar with the Central Europe history and geography, so uh, uh, Prague is capital of Czech Republic, our university uh, is located very close to the historic center and, uh, and Prague Castle as well, and uh, this is the, uh, how to say, the first uh, chemistry institute in, in, in uh, our country. In the 16th century, you were uh, alchemists that they want to convert uh, metals to the gold. So, so uh, we have some history in, in chemistry technology for some uh, specific separations and operations. So, uh, let, uh, <coughs> let me move you to the more recent history. So, uh, which is uh, which is dedicated to the gas separation. So uh, after some uh, theoretical basics uh, or understanding of the gas separation uh, and and the material invention in the uh, fifties with uh, with polymers. So the first industrial uh, operation of um, for gas separation was in eighties invention of hollow fibers for hydrogen nitrogen separation but uh, from uh, understanding total understanding of the of the processes was uh, uh, milestone dedicated to the uh, simple method how uh, polymers or materials for gas separation can be uh, evaluated and that's the, the, some trade-off between the material properties, between the permeability of the membrane and the selectivity of the membrane. Uh, so, <clears throat> from the invention of the, from, from the Professor Robson, the Robson upper bound, uh, and the understanding between these two uh, determining properties of the performance of these materials. So, I don't know how familiar you are with this, so this is just a diagram where uh, Two gas permeability uh, is plotted. So here is the plotted uh, more permeable species, and here is the ratio of permeability of both gases. And here is the line which indicates the maximum permeability at given selectivity. And this line, uh, originally uh, published in 1991, is slightly shifted to the upper right corner, which is the uh, which is the holy grail for membrane analogists because this is more per most permeable and most selective materials located here. And breaking the upper bound is the is the engine for the research in, in membrane and material science. So it looks uh, interesting, it looks uh, uh, attractive. So, but it's not so easy how to break the upper bound or the limits. Uh, so um, here are some strategies how to uh, how to prepare material which will be highly selective or highly permeable or both uh, same, same situation so this is uh, a usual point for material and the material which has certain permeability certain selectivity and this material can be converted uh, or treated uh, or tailored to some special features so potentially uh, Selectivity can be uh, improved, or permeability can be improved, or both at the same time. That's <coughs> I wanted uh, direction of, of the material, material science. But usually, uh, after some uh, uh, treatment of material, usually uh, the permeability is increased, but the selectivity drops. So. <coughs> The, the simplest way, which was used for improvement of the, of the gas separation membrane, was 
concept of mixed matrix membranes where some uh, solid or liquid nanoparticles were mixed with the continuous polymer phase. So this <coughs> generally improves the uh, permeability, uh, also selectivity, but uh, also ma material uh, material resistance or uh, or, or so <coughs> mechanical properties. So yeah. in ge in general, it, it it works. If you have uh, suitable polymer, suitable nanoparticles with some specific uh, property like like uh, gas uh, <coughs> gas absorption or or some attractivity by, by the amino groups for carbon dioxide but uh, uh, somehow what really can work on the paper in reality is, uh, is not so successful so improvements in permeability can be uh, overbalanced by some uh, surface uh, surface uh, 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 problems with with blocking of the transport pathways or some aggregation of the nanoparticles and so on. So here is the uh, our research conducted in the last ten years. So. Uh, more than 12 years ago, we started with some uh, 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 good polymers for gas separation with uh, nice nanoparticles that can uh, that can selectively uh, absorb CO2 and block transport of the uh, other gases. But mixing uh, of these two uh, suitable suitable starting materials was not successful by uh, uh, by uh, to uh, to uh, classical failures for mixed matrix membranes. So first is phase separation. So there is uh, uh, no attractivity between the polymer and nanoparticles, and then uh, aggregation of the of the nanoparticles. So this is the the clearest example how not to uh, do or not, how not to make uh, mixed matrix membranes. So uh, after that, uh, we try to improve the uh, the properties of mixed matrix membranes. So, so uh, when we found that it's possible to tailor the uh, to tailor the, the nanoparticle properties, so so there is less aggregation here. But uh, this is the cross section of the membrane. So half of the membrane is empty and half is full of the nanoparticles. So uh, because nanoparticles were magnetic, so by the external control, by the magnetic field, uh, we were able to uh, to uh, stop sedimentation. And by, by uh, this is the, the, the how we uh, how we construct the new and new generations of the of the apparatus for the uh, membrane making uh, during the membrane making. So. Uh, by by system of uh, four coils, the two coils uh, can keep the keep the nanoparticles not sedimented during the membrane forming, and other two coils uh, uh, block the aggregation of nanoparticles. So, in the end, after three years, uh, we have uh, uh, we have perfectly uh, aligned nanoparticles uh, which were not uh, aggregated. Uh, so from the from that point of view, it was successful. So we succeed with the with the task to prepare uh, perfectly uh, homogeneously distributed nanoparticles. But from the gas separation point of view, this was not successful because this uh, we have, we did not uh, uh, obtain uh, improved selectivity. So. Uh, okay, we patented this, but uh, for, for this uh, for this system, we were not successful in, in the main task to making membrane more permeable and more selective. Um, okay, so then we decided that we have to uh, we have to uh, change the the approach for the filmmaking. So so made it uh, more specifically focused on the on the target. So maybe more control of the nano nano uh, level phenomena. 
So uh, we started with some engineered nanoparticles like metallogenic frameworks and uh, carbon nanotubes and graphene oxide with a different ratio of oxidation. So uh, we can uh, we can tailor the number of the oxygen containing groups after the oxidation of the graphene. So uh, with that we we then uh, use uh, molecular bridging or chemical bonding or specific interaction between the nanoparticles and the, and the polymer. So here are the three papers, just, just examples of our work in the last two years. So uh, first one was uh, uh, composite membrane using uh, nanopart nanoparticles, MOFs with aminated groups for the attracting of CO2 and polymetal matter chloride. Uh, so here we combine, we prepared a, a pristine on each membrane with no nanoparticles and then the membrane is 10 weight, uh, weight percent of the nanoparticles just with random distribution and with control distribution by the magnetic field. And uh, uh, let me show the rocks nacro bound. So M1 is just the pristine polymer, uh, M2 is uh, membrane with, with random or uh, yeah, not non control distribution of the of the uh, MOFs and uh, control one uh, really shows the improvement uh, in terms of the permeability and selectivity in both cases for hydrogen CO two separation of CO two nitrogen. So in this uh, in this system it was uh, quite successful and, and motivated us for. The, Another, another system, so here we mixed titanium dioxide nanotubes which amalgamated graphene oxide and uh, we use a psilocyte acetate. So uh, the motivation was to create a select pathways for CO2 attraction and uh, block the, the pathways for methane. So in that point of view, here we have uh, again the pristine uh, pristine uh, cellulose acetate and with just mixing only with the titanium uh, titanium uh, dioxide nanotubes there is just improvement only in permeability mixing with graphene oxide just permeability selective improvement but if we use this specific nanofillers we can see quite interesting movement so improvement in permeability improvement in selectivity as well and um, uh, the best scoring membrane was uh, containing 7% percent of these uh, nanofillers. Uh, so uh, the next example of uh, specific bridging between nanofillers and, and polymers is uh, a system where we combine carbon nanotubes as a support layer and the growth on the support layer, we grow uh, MOF particles, and uh, in the end, it is some specific linker between the uh, carbon tubes and the MOFs. And uh, as a protection and as a separation layer, we use uh, PDMS, which was uh, spray coated on, on, uh, on as in a thin layer on, on the top of the membrane, and uh, here is just the SCM, how how the process was. Uh, was uh, <coughs> controlled uh, and in the end uh, if we test gas uh, permeability we can see uh, quite nice results for CO2 of course and for uh, for uh, olefin, graphene, gases, methane and we can see that the small uh, like smaller molecules like hydrogen Nitrogen are not so permeable, so the main transport uh, <coughs> regime was, was the solubility in, um, in uh, PDMS plus the specific uh, specific interaction with the with the MOFs. So, in terms of uh, Robson uh, diagrams, so uh, this membrane performs well for CO2 nitrogen and also for CO2 hydrogen here. In, have a reverse selective version of the Robson, Robson diagram. Uh, well, <clears throat> we also try to avoid uh, polymers because 
they can perform only at low temperatures. So, so we try to uh, uh, we try to fabricate also uh, high temperature resistant materials. So, so we use uh, carbon nanotubes as a support, and uh, we deposit a thin layer of graphene oxide on the top of these uh, carbon nanotubes uh, layer. So here is the upper side, this is the graph uh, graphene oxide layer, and this is bottom side of, uh, of the carbon uh, nanotubes uh, support membrane. Uh, so uh, here, is the, here is just the overview of the uh, gas separation performance. So uh, here is uh, our, uh, our recent paper on just uh, self-standing graphene oxide. Uh, here is just the performance of mesoporose, so not, absolutely not selective uh, CO2, uh, sorry, carbon nanotube support. Uh, after oxidation, this uh, totally uh, mesoporose material became uh, slightly selective. So we can separate uh, in uh, three uh, molecules of hydrogen from, from CO2. But if we uh, deposit uh, graphene oxide at the top, we return back uh, to the area uh, to the, of graphene oxide. So, so the, the, the gas separation is only through the, through the geo layer. So uh, then we start thinking how to improve again uh, the uh, permeability of this material and selectivity as well because it's uh, below the Knudsen, uh, Knudsen ratio of the hydrogen and CO2. So we started to uh, do again some uh, molecular level engineering. So uh, we, we doped the graphene oxide layer to use the ions uh, as, a, as a molecular molecular agent for uh, for uh, reinforcing or, or orientation of the graphene oxide sheets in, in the layer. So we tested several uh, metal ions from uh, uh, from here. You can see from the periodic table. Uh, and but first, uh, there must be some assumptions. Um, so it must be soluble uh, in water because from the, the membrane were prepared from the water solution to, by filtration. So uh, there must be some mm, good mixing with, with, uh, with water, then it must... Uh, uh, oh, and membranes should be formed, so it must be filmmaking. So we selected uh, here uh, several of, of uh, uh, salt solution, and uh, with that we tested uh, how they perform in comparison with the non-doped uh, non uh, systems. So, uh, number one, in for hydrogen CO2 and hydrogen methane, uh, gas pairs, so it's this one. Uh, then we can see that uh, ionic doping of the graphene oxide layer really improves the permeability in all cases. We can see the shift uh, here to uh, this is logarithmic scale, so the shift is quite interesting uh, and, and, and quite very huge. And also, what is quite interesting, we can see uh, also uh, improvement in selectivity. So, uh, and if here is the Knudsen, uh, Knudsen uh, level, so just uh, the separation of molecules only by the, their, their kinetic diameter, here we can see that we have even improvement in uh, hydrogen CO2 uh, selectivity at very high permeation rates. So this was quite uh, successful, uh, uh, successful work. So uh, let me conclude. So um, our approach of the molecular engineering uh, was uh, was tested for uh, for several polymer. Uh, nanocomposite uh, systems. So, uh, using the specific or tailored uh, nanoparticles with uh, with magnetic uh, magnetic nanoparticles, that these systems can be easily tuned by external magnetic field. Uh, just using the amination is attractive for for one specific molecule. Uh, 
this really helps uh, and uh, with this other other particles with specific uh, uh, specific dimensions, this can uh, really improve the separation performance. And another feature is that, that there is no aggregation or other unwanted uh, molecular scale phenomena that really uh, blocks the performance of the mixed matrix membrane. So, so this concept works. Uh, so uh, another feature that uh, the embedding of the nanoparticles is, is controlled, so uh, easily can uh, uh, can uh, be repeated. So repeatability of the of the results is then quite higher, and then the randomity of the creation process is suppressed. So uh, the third uh, interesting feature in this, just by ionic doping. The, the, the permeability of, of graphene oxide separation layer can be really boosted to high permeabilities and high selectivity values. So uh, these findings uh, in, of our group, which were achieved by in the last two years, we uh, <coughs> want to uh, focus for uh, for another uh, issues or, or challenges. So. So we want to further tailor the polymer and, and structure and morphology for uh, for highly selective gas separation membranes. Uh, we want to improve also the uh, performance of these mixed matrix membranes by specific bonding of nanoparticles and uh, uh, which we use. Um, what is the really challenging is just stimuli responsive properties of this material. So, so we want to uh, use uh, uh, use external forces just to switch on, switch off the, the material feature and to improve the gas separation performance. Uh, so uh, here is just uh, an acknowledgement of, uh, of uh, funding institutions. Uh, here is my, my working group. Uh, here are my collaborators from our university. Uh, and before thanking for your attention, I want to uh, attract you uh, for another chemical engineering conference. Uh, like it's like a Korean one. We have also an inter international version, which is every even year uh, in Prague. So this year it was its past, it was in August. So in 2024, in August, there will be another very big uh, chemical engineering conference. Uh, so you are very welcome there. So thank you for your attention. The floor is open for a question and answer.
we we can control uh, by uh, by SEM or, or uh, other analytical methods. We can then uh, see the process how, uh, for instance, here how the moths are growing on, uh, on the on the uh, support or polymer layer, polymers or, or supporting layer. And here, but by the cross section, we can see the, the distribution if we succeed or not with with the with the material. So maybe it will be much visible here. So we see the, the, the dispersion, and then we control it then by by the analytical methods. It's in the papers that I just subtract only few information. So, so there is more information in the paper. So if, if you are uh, if you want to uh, see uh, the, the structure by the analytical methods by metal detection so so we can we can then uh, see clearly how the nanoparticles are distributed so not only by the SEM but also by other methods. Okay, any other question? It seems like your graphic outlet is separation layer and, and, and single one single OCFT is just supporting supporting material do you have any specific reason for choosing single or CFT? Not the other kind of, like, multi-wall or other kind of carbon. Well, um, we started with single walls. Okay. And uh, multi-wall uh, is in, in, in process. So, so, mm -hmm. so that's something that uh, was slightly retarded this work because of the COVID. So it was a, the restriction of the work. So work of my students is mm -hmm. just performing now. So I can't speak more about the multi-wall. But we are, we are working on it. Okay, um, please give a big hand to uh, our